Hi everyone, David here from Dax Leather and welcome to another leather crafting video. In today's video we'll be making a leather keychain out of Rokaru Shell Cordovan, but this time we're going to use the reverse side of the shell for our project. Over the last weeks we've made several small projects from a lovely black marble shell, including a wallet and a pen sleeve, which will leave you a link to those videos so you can check them out. However, this time this Cordovan piece is almost gone and there was only enough Cordovan to make one last small project. Initially, I wanted to make a watch strap with this leather, but then I realized I haven't used the reverse part of the shell. So I decided to make a second keychain identical to the one I made previously with the same leather, but focused on highlighting the beauty of those random ink splatters that some reverse shells have. So just as with the front side of the shell, arranging your template to make those splatters look nice in your project will take some time, but it's totally worth it. Now in the previous keychain video I used a Dremel to sand out any excess of leather left on the side of the keychain once it was glued and stitched together. This time however what I did was to give the back part of the keychain some extra room to remove it using my X-Acto knife and guiding myself with the thickness of the front part of the keychain as you'll see later on. When working with the stitching holes I noticed how discreet they look on the reverse side. Contrary to the shiny side, these holes don't seem to scream that they are there. It's a subtle but nice detail on the leather. So before stitching the keychain together you want to make sure the ring section is finished. Once the ring is installed it's harder to paint and finish this part.
To give the kitchen more volume, I glued a smaller piece in the center. Another thing that is worth mentioning is that this keychain is actually considerably thick and the reason is that I find the edge of this key holder, uh, it looks really nice when it's bold. It also makes the edge paint uh, have more presence, so if you're looking to make some contrast with colors in your projects, edges can be a good source for that. So once the keychain was stitched, I could easily cut out the excess from the back part using my X-Acto knife, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And since this is a thick project, I still need to sand out a few fibers that were left uh, just to smooth the edge enough to being able to polish it with some water and a wooden slicker and then apply some edge paint in the end. So in the end, I applied only two coats of Bernice heatable edge paint and let it dry out. Now this paint has a matte finish and I thought that would be good to leave the keychain with that finish since the reverse side of the Cordovan leather is matte in the first place.
And as you can see, the marble look on the reverse side looks really, really nice. It actually highlights the marble color effect even more than the front side. Overall, I love how this turned out to be and feel very happy to have decided on making the reverse keychain instead of the watch strap since I wouldn't be trying out the reverse side of the shell. So with this project done, there is really no more shell Corvan left to do anything else, but I will give you my full review and first time impression using this leather in an upcoming video. As always, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and find it useful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more leather projects. So have a great day everyone and I'll see you in the next one.